So today I want to build just a basic etch a sketch, just a game where it takes some directions and then my turtle runs around the screen and draws a shape. Um, so you can see my completed game here. If I pick a direction like up, the turtle turns up and goes up. Then if I go type in right, he goes to the right and moves to the right and I can control him just like that with text commands. So the basic flow of our app is that we want to ask the user for a direction. We want to compare that direction to a direction that we have created. And then if it matches, go ahead and move the turtle in that direction. And we just want to do that again and again and again forever. All right, let's jump into the code and let's get started. So since we're going to be drawing stuff, I mean, it is an Etch-A-Sketch. I don't know if you've ever used one, but you draw stuff on a screen. So let's go ahead and import the turtle because that's what we use to draw. Then we're going to create a new turtle. I'm going to call mine Calvin and I'm going to go into that turtle module and I'm going to grab out the turtle class and all of the functionality for the turtle is now going to be stored in a variable called Calvin. He's going to hold all that stuff for us. Now let's go ahead and change Calvin's um, shape because I'm tired of the arrow. I'm going to want to make him a turtle because it's really cool to see a turtle draw on the screen. And then we're going to grab, um, I don't know, let's change his color because I'm tired of black. Let's change it to blue, something different. All right, so now that I've created the turtle and 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 you can see it, well, let's see it on the screen. Well, there's the turtle, there's Calvin. All right, now I need to create all four of the functions to make him move right, move left, move up, and move down. So let's do that. So I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna do define a function to be move underscore right. I'm using the underscores now just because that's easier for me to visualize, um, easier for me to read. And we're going to create another function called move left. All right. And then we're going to create another function called move underscore up. All right. And then lastly, well, we haven't made a move down yet. So let's do that. Move down. Now, what we need to do here, now that we've have all the functions created, well, they don't do anything yet. So what we want to do first off the bat, before we do anything else, before we actually make a move forward, is we need to check to make sure that the turtle is facing the right direction. And we do that with a set heading. And that takes a, uh, a degree parameter. So if we do uh, calvin.set heading, well, there we go. And it takes in um, a degree. Now, it's kind of weird. Zero degrees is facing right, 90 degrees is facing up, 180 degrees is facing left, and 270 degrees is facing down. So let's go ahead and put those into all of our functions here. So move right, that's going to be, well, zero degrees. Let's go ahead and do that for all of our functions. All right, so you can see I have my set heading on all of my functions, and I didn't walk you through every single step of that because, well, it's easy. You just copy the numbers. All right. Now that we've actually set the heading, now we need to make him move forward. So when he's moving to the right, he's facing to the right. We could just say go forward. So let's do that. Let's say Calvin dot forward and let's make him go just 20 small amounts. So you have a little bit finer control. And we just put this in all of our functions. All right, so now that we have all of our, our movement functions created, now we need to do something forever. So we need to be checking the direction and asking for a direction forever. Now we need to create an infinite loop to do that. And in Python, we use while loops to create infinite loops. So we're gonna type the word while. Now while takes a conditional. It's gonna check to see if a certain condition is true. And if it is, while that thing is true, it's gonna do this set of scripts. Well, how do we set something to be true forever? We set it to a constant, so that value can never change. And if we set the constant just to be the word true, we have an infinite loop. It's that easy. In Python, this is how you create an infinite loop. You do while true, and it will run as long as the program's running. So now that we've created our infinite loop, let's go ahead and give it the instructions that we want uh, to fire forever. Let's forever ask for some raw input, and we'll go ahead and ask the user to pick a direction. So pick a direction and then we'll tell them, well, let's give them some hints on what they can enter. They can enter left, they can enter right, they can enter up and they can enter down. Cool, so now when that prints out on the screen, they know they have to type these four words here. They also know the spelling and they know the capitalization. All right, let's go down to the next line here. All right, so once we ask the user for a direction, now we have whatever they entered stored into a variable. Now we need to check that against the directions that we are expecting. So if what they entered in, which is direction, if that equals equals the word right, the string right, well, let's fire that uh, move right function. 
that wasn't hard. Let's do it again. So elif, they enter in. So if the direction they entered in equals equals uh, left, well, what do you think we're going to do here? Let's fire the move left function. Do that for up and for down. Once you have those in, the very last thing we're going to do is write our else. This else is going to catch all the stuff that they haven't entered in, or they entered something funny in that doesn't really match. So we're just going to print out uh, please enter a valid direction. Cool. And then because it's inside of a forever loop, it will just loop back up here and ask for a direction again. Remember, I just entered right and left. You're going to enter the up and down. I don't need to show you those. But let's go ahead and run our code and let's see if it works. So run here. All right. So it's asking for a direction. Pick a direction. I'm going to enter right. Oh, I have to be clicked in there. I'm going to enter right. And the turtle moves right. I can enter left and the turtle turns around and moves left. It's that simple.